I want to welcome all of you to Detecto's portion control scales. Uh, it's the PS series. Uh, we've been in the portion control business for many, many years. We've had many different models. This is now the complete family of portion control scales. You know, weighing is very important to us as a Cardinal Detecto scale company. And everything that you touch, see, and feel, and eat typically has been weighed. And a lot of people don't put that into perspective. The threads in this jacket were weighed at one point in time. The rice in the field may be weighed on a cardinal truck scale before it went to processing to make rice krispies. The pavement that you drive on, typically the stone came out of a quarry and was weighed on a cardinal scale, then went to an asphalt plant and then was weighed on a cardinal scale, and then was weighed in the dump truck to see how much asphalt they're going to put on the street. So we go from that level all the way down to the food industry. So if we think of portion scales, we might think of weighing a portion of a steak in a restaurant. Well, guess what? That cow or that steer might have been weighed on a cardinal scale before it got to the restaurant. We're in the back of the restaurant where you never see it happen is a detecto portion scale weighing that cut of meat. This family of scales all come in a retail package box. It's English on one side, uh, Spanish on the other side. And that allows for the uh, restaurant supply companies and those that want to stock them on their shelves, allows them to be uh, looking really good, give the product descriptions so they can stock those on the shelves. They, all of these four, these five scales that we have in front of us are something very important about them. They're all NSF approved. Now, some of you have heard that, that oh, it's NSF approved. Do you have any idea what NSF means? Back in 1944, there was the National Sanitary Foundation developed in which to ensure that all products that food touched, that those products were clean, that this metal wouldn't cause any bacteria, substance to the food that you eat. Uh, that was back in 1944. Well, NSF went global. And once it went global, believe it or not, if you Google this, you'll see that they say that NSF means nothing now as far as what the letters represent. It's just NSF certified. It doesn't really represent that National uh, Sanitary Foundation anymore. So it's pretty interesting to know the history of how the NSF come forward. And many major chain food chain accounts uh, want to make sure that the products they have in their food preparation are NSF. So we have a whole range of products. Each one of them has a particular use, you might say, in the value and or what you can do with the scale. And uh, they all come in the retail packaging. What I'd like to do first is talk about the website. Our website, if you are a distributor of ours or if you're selling our product or if you're inquiring about our products, our website is very detailed for all of the portion control scales. You can see here we have other models called an AS AP series. Here's the Mariner submersible scale we'll talk about in a minute as you go down the line. And then the extension of those also provide you the manuals. In fact, before we started this session today, I even went out and reviewed the manuals to make sure I could remember everything that I'd like to talk about today about these scales. The first scale we'd like to visit with is, visit with or visit about, is our most economical scale, which is our PS4. The PS4, although being a very economically priced scale, has a lot of quality to it because it has a stainless steel surface. While it's not truly a wash down scale where you would pour water on it and such, it's very easy to clean. And most important about all portion scales is that you can remove the top. Why is that important? Well, you say, well, I want to wash it. But what happens in a, in a sandwich shop that's preparing beef, chicken, and poultry? They don't want to mix the chicken with the beef. So you want to make sure you have a stainless steel top that can go in a dishwasher or be submerged in the sink to wash off the chicken and or the beef so those don't get mixed in for cleanliness purposes. The PS4 is right out of the box, ready to run. It has a standard uh, nine volt battery that you can get right off the shelf uh, at any local store to put in the scale for recharging it, for charging the scale. It also comes with an AC adapter. So if you're running it on the nine volt battery, then in a prep counter when you're building sandwiches or weighing any particular product, you can move it up and down the counter without having the AC adapter connected to the scale. Or if you don't want to use the battery, sure, use the AC adapter. 
Portion scales aren't specifically just for the food industry. They're, these are used for many, many different applications. In fact, this particular scale, which we'll talk about later, I know a company that weigh, uses it to weigh seeds. It's a major seed supplier for the farms. So they weigh bags of seeds. I know a company that's using this one for the uh, weigh-in of inks and ink preparation. I know one company that uses this one that's in a manufacturing environment where it's used by the quality control person to go from uh, uh, production area to production area to production area to weigh small plastic parts to make sure the employees are putting the right amount of parts into the box. So just because we say we're a portion scale and we're talking about uh, food preparation and such, that's not the point of this entire range of scales. Back to the PS4. The PS4 comes with two, uh, two weight units available for it in the pounds and the grams. So some of these get more involved in the weight units. And so a lot of customers don't really know what a weight unit is. What it means is there's two ways to weigh the product. You can weigh the product in this one in pounds and ounces and or grams. And that has much to do with, uh, let's say, a, a major chef. He may want all of his commodities and his recipes are in grams. Or you may be weighing uh, inks where they want to weigh in grams. So you never know what the application can be. So that we do have this one in pounds and grams. It has three buttons on it, one for off, one for units, and then we have a zero key. So you can always zero this key if for some reason you'd been weighing something and the scale didn't absolutely reflect zero. So you can sure you get the accurate weight, you can just touch the zero key to do so. So this is a very basic scale. It's, it's stainless, it's easy to clean and it'll give you two weight units as far as pounds and grams, and will work for any small, uh, a good application for this um, would be someone who is either estimating small bags of nuts, or you're, you're in a uh, sandwich shop where they're just wanting to weigh the cheeses before they put them on the sandwich, and they want something economical in price, or they may want four or five for the prep table. So they don't, they don't wanna make a, a, make a big expenditure for those, they just want several units, so it's a good price for a grid portion scale. The one next in line is the PS7. It's one of our most popular scales because of the price points, because of the features, and uh, because of the flexibility of the battery operation and the AC adapter. Once again, as we visited a few minutes ago, you've got the stainless steel platform that comes off the scale. Little, little things to notice about our scales. These are stainless steel studs, we might call it that fit down into an area right here that has a rubber sleeve. Once again, that just helps moisture and other things from getting inside the scale to be harmful to the, what we would call a PC board, meaning a main circuit board inside the scale. This scale one-ups this PS4. This is four pound capacity. This is 11 pound capacity. How does it one-up? Because we have seven pound capacity, sorry. Good question there from a good point from one of the members out here in the crowd. Uh, we have five units of measure, okay? So we have pounds, ounces, like in hundreds of an ounce. We have ounces by ounces. We have 112 ounces by fractional ounces, fractional ounce. You know, a lot of people are used to like, I want a quarter ounce of this, or I want a half ounce of that. Well, this will display fractional ounces. And or we can do grams and or pounds by up to five hundredths of a pound in units of measure. So whether you're in an industry, in food, or a chef that has a particular way he wants to weigh, the PS7 can handle that. Once again, like the PS4, this one has batteries here underneath, but these are rechargeable batteries. These rechargeable batteries uh, takes about eight and a half hours to recharge them, but I believe they'll run up to 21 hours of continuous use. That doesn't sound like a lot. That's a whole lot, and I'll tell you why. 21 hours of continuous use. When you're using this scale in a restaurant or production facility, you may only be using it a couple hours a day because you're just using it for a few seconds as you weigh something. So literally this may run a couple of weeks on this recharged battery. And then when it does start uh, discharging, there'll be a little symbol that appears that you need to charge it. Stick it back in the manager's office, plug in the AC adapter overnight. The next day, you're ready to run for another week. So the PS7 is a a valuable little scale for the price points. So once again, five units of measure. There's the units key. There's a zero key for zeroing off. Oh, what else would zero be used for? 
Well, I'll tell you, since you didn't ask. <laughs> if I'm going to build a sandwich and I want meat, you know beef is very expensive right now. And so I want to get just the right amount of beef on a sandwich because I don't want to short the customer, but I don't want to cost myself too much. So the, the zero or the tear key on any of these units, you can put the bread on the scale and hit the tear key. Now the bread weighs nothing. So you put the mayonnaise on, hit the tear key again, the mayonnaise and the bread weigh nothing. You put the cheese on, you see exactly, you tell, that, you tell the employee, I want X number of ounces of cheese. That's what they put on it. You hit the zero key now, you ready for this. Now the bread, the mayonnaise, the cheese weigh nothing. So then we go to the meat. So then we'll put the sliced meat on so we can weigh those condiments until we build that sandwich up. So budgetarily, you can build the right sandwich for the customer, make the customer happy, but not to cost management too much in portions put on the bread. And that goes much into pizza building, uh, any type of product where you have several commodities going on to one product that's going out to the customer. Uh, this platform size, I don't remember the exact inches of this platform size, you can see the PS7 is larger. So as we step into this line, then you could think about beefs and steaks and weighing steaks as they cut them, uh, chicken, any of those more expensive products. Or when you're in the industry, uh, larger containers of product that you're sampling or check weighing. Check weighing is a word I'm going to use with one of these other scales in a little bit. But the check weights in industry is very important. As I said a minute ago, they might carry these scales out on the production line to check certain sample weights to make sure the right weight is in the product. Um, this PS7 also comes with a little option that's pretty cute. We have what we call an extended tray. So a guy that has a sub sandwich shop, he may say, oh, I need to do 12 inch subs. Well, we do have a wider tray that replaces and goes into the position of those holes so you can put the longer item on the scale. We also have a um, taco stand type uh, unit that can fit over those. So we've covered a four pound unit. We have the seven pound capacities. And then we can step up to the PS11. The PS11 is probably, well I know it is, one of our most popular units. The PS11 is all stainless steel. It's very heavy, meaning that it's going to stay in position on the counter. It's not going to move and slide around. PS11 includes a rechargeable battery, a very good rechargeable battery. In fact, you can see the screws here that cover, place on the cover. And of course, it includes an AC adapter. What's important about the PS11, as I said, it's all stainless steel, but the main board has a conformal coating on it that's more resistant to moisture. This is not a waterproof scale, but when you're in the food environment or in moist environments, you get a lot of humidity and such. This one, will, this one will give you many years of service because it does have that conformal coating, as we call it. It has the five units of weight, like we do with the PS7. It's just a more robust scale, all stainless steel, bottom and top. And uh, we have several chain accounts that use this for their uh, sandwich building. It's big in the sandwich. We also have, I was mentioning seeds earlier. One of the major seed companies uh, in the United States uses this for sampling seeds and say grain elevators when they're looking at weight content of seed. We're going to turn this scale on right now. And all of these, this one has like a, a nice a little over a half inch display. This one's a little less than an inch tall. And this one's about an inch tall. And they're very visible, but quick reaction when you put weight on the scale. When, you're, when you are weighing a product, you need it to come stable very quickly. And the PS11 is very fast scale. Not, not unlike all of these, but speed is in the essence when you're in food preparation. Any questions so far about the PS4, the PS7, the PS11 at all? Great. That means we covered all the features of the PS4, the PS7, PS11. It's a lot of fun to cover through these scales because as we've talked about it, we got the mama bear, baby bear, papa bear. Now we're getting into the real scales that we have in the line that do some real robust jobs. The WPS-12. The WPS-12 is one of our newer products within the line. What's important about this product? It's one of the few in the industry that is submersible. Submersible? Something electronic I could put in the water? Yes, you can. This scale is totally sealed and it's called IP67. 
And if you were to Google IP67, you could see that this scale is submersible up to three feet for 90 seconds. I forget what the exact times and depths are, but that's important. Remember, we talked about removing a stainless steel top of these three scales to be able to wash it. This one, you can submerge the entire scale. And as it is a rechargeable scale, the rechargeable batteries, there's a gasket around this cover which totally protects the insides for the batteries. There is also this keypad is sealed underneath the keypad to prevent water from getting into it. And the quote load cell, and as we know about load cells, they're very sensitive. All of that, there's rubber gaskets in, gasketing inside to protect the load cell electronics from water. Most important though, is this rubber, this little cover is for the AC adapter. So if you are charging this, and this will run about 24 hours, 24 straight hours, continuous use. Remember, we covered continuous use a while ago. Uh, you would want to put that on before you submerged it. All right, so that's a very key component to washing this scale. There are others out there in the industry that you have to take them apart and wash them, but the WPS-12 Mariner, Mariner's a great name, you can put it in the sink, wash it. Not in the dishwasher, okay? This is not dishwasher proof because of the heat of a dishwasher but fully submersible in your sink. The neat thing about the WPS-12, we've got an extra key now called a set key. All right, a set key. What would I use a set key for on a basic portion scale? Remember I, I used the word check weighing earlier, okay? This set key allows you to set a low weight and a high weight so I can see my acceptable weight. So if I have, if I'm cutting uh, bone-in ribeyes, which are very expensive a pound, I can actually set the weight to make sure that it's not too low and not too high in weight. And how I do that is this set key enables me, I hold it down three seconds and it'll beep and I can put weight on the scale and it'll be my low weight, my least acceptable weight, and then I can put the highest weight that I want on there and hit the key again. So when it either is too low or too high, it will beep at you as a just a standard check weighing scale. So that's the value of the product. And also we have one, two, three, four, five, six weight units on this one. Uh, where we had five weight units here, we've added the extra, we've got, I'll explain this to you, we have 192 ounces by 0.05 ounces, or we can do straight ounces in fractionals. So we have 192 ounces by fractional ounce. So there's two ways to do the ounces. So this has been a great um, addition to the line and a lot of Chefs and kitchens who prepare expensive cuts of meat love the WPS-12. Why? Because the uh, weight units, the check weighing feature, but it's submersible. All right, those are the three critical features of the WPS-12. Um, so remember, this one's IP67. IP67 for total submersible, all stainless steel. Uh, there is also a feature that you can have, a, uh, you have your backlight so you can have an LED backlight or not backlight. I'm going to turn on the scale. This is kind of fun. So you see a nice blue backlit display. But if I'm going to do a lot of continuous use, guess what happens when you have a scale with a backlight on it? You start to use the battery up. So if you don't want the backlight on, by the way, this unit, the PS7, the PS11, this one and this one we'll talk about soon, do have auto shut off, and that's important. So to save battery use. And you can set that auto shut off from like 120 seconds to 300 seconds. So two minutes up to, oh, how many minutes are in 300 seconds? Five. That guy's sharp. He's one of our lead technicians back in our shop. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna turn the unit on. And where you see the, where you see the units button, the units button is where you'd actually switch from different weight units, okay? Now you say, okay, what if I only want to do pounds and ounces, pounds, fractional ounces, and I don't want my employees to mess that up. In setup, all of these scales, except for the PS4, all these scales, you can set which unit you want as a default and one that you cannot change. So if you always want it in pounds and hundreds of a pound, ounces, fractional ounces, you may do so. Okay, what I want to show right now, there's a little, little little yellow icon there, and if you hold down this button for like three seconds, it will shut off the backlight. 
Didn't know that rosemary, did you? So now you can use it all day long, no backlight. I want to turn the backlight back on, hold it down three seconds, the backlight's on. To show you that this does have check weighing, this does have a high and a low. So when you exceed that weight limit you set, it will beep and the little light will come on high. So when it's very easy to set and change for the customer. I want to step now into the PS30. It's a new product that many people don't know about. And once again, it's NSF approved. Remember now, let's review the NSF. All five of these scales are safety, or safe for food products that touch these scales and will not harm human consumption. Of course, the scales have to be clean first. The PS30 is a 30 pound capacity scale. And I like some of the uses of this scale. Number one is it's IP65. Now this one was 67, which I said was submersible. The PS30 is 65, which is washed down. I mean, I can wash it, okay? Spray some water on it and wash it. That's a great thing. Um, so wash down is normally sufficient for any customer. Submersible they love. The beauty of the PS30 is it's a heavy scale. It's 30 pound capacity. It gives you the weight units that you require. It's super for such things as industry, for chefs, for meat preparation, because of the large platform and it's heavy, it doesn't move, so the weight is very stable. We're gonna go ahead and turn the unit on. One of the industries that I like so well for this product is baking dough. Why, we know we detect dough also, we have a range of mechanical baker's dough scales, which are balanced scales. A lot of them now want to prepare dough very fast and have a digital weight. The beauty of this scale is that it does weigh so much that this platform is so large, they deal with large dough balls. So it makes a great baker's dough scale. And why also does it make a great baker's dough scale? Flour, dough, for you those use that have use for you all that have played in the kitchen, flour and dough doesn't mix with electronics or just general cleanliness, right? IP65, that means after I've made the pie, made the bread and so forth, I can easily wash this off. That's important. So the 30 pound capacity also takes us in to other industries. So if you do have uh, other industries that need to weigh up to 30 pounds, 30 pounds is a lot of weight to put on a scale like this and it'll take the abuse. Um, it's a great skill for that, and the price is right. So as we step up the line again, four pounds, seven pounds, 11 pounds, 12 pounds, waterproof and submersible. Don't ever forget the word submersible, very important marketing tool. And wash down IP65 in the higher capacity scale. Um, this particular unit also, recall what we did earlier when we turned the backlight on this unit, this one can also have the, you see the little, there's a little light bulb right there. So I can hold that down and turn the, turn on the, turn off the light like I just did, or hold it down for three more seconds and turn back on the light. The one thing different about this scale, this scale runs on either AA batteries and or the AC adapter. It does not have the recharging circuitry that this one and this one has. So we have a nine volt battery system. We have, on this unit, rechargeable AA battery packs. We have a rechargeable NICAD system in this one, as well as this one. And this one is AA batteries with an AC adapter. So we either run it with the AC adapter or the AA batteries. Uh, 24 hour, 25 hours of use, continuous use with the AA batteries. And they're off the shelf batteries. So it's very inexpensive to be able to power this with batteries. Um, and you'll see that because this is IP65 washdown, that you do have screws and a cover over the battery compartment that protects it from the water, as well as this rubber connection point for the AC adapter. You plug that in before you wash the scale. But just a beautiful product, and there's also, if you look in it real close, because it is IP65, what we couldn't see here because of so low profile was that protection from the load cell and electronics. This, you can see this plastic underneath the scale platform. That's part of that protection of the water for the IP65 rating. <laughs> but that pretty much covers the entire line of the five PS portion scales. These scales 
are not legal for trade. Detecto and Cardinal Scale specialize in legal for trade scales and portioning scales. This is of the portioning scale category. We do have portion scales that are of this size that are legal for trade, which is our AP series, which is important to know. Um, a lot of hardware stores, uh, retail counters for uh, kiosks for coffee, nuts, and so forth need a legal for trade scale. What's important about legal for trade? Legal for trade means that that weight is it's 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 NTEP approved, NTEP approved, so that that weight is a legitimate weight for taking money for. And then weights and measures department will put a sticker on it and certify it that yes, whatever weight's shown on that scale, you can take money for that weight. These are not in that category. So I thank you for being with us today. Do you have any questions about any of the five scales or our portion scale line at all? AC, nope. adapters, come with all these? AC adapters come with all of these units. So you never have to worry about power. So the AC adapter can be used for recharging of these three scales. And the AC adapters can be used with this big PS30 and PS4 as just an alternate way to power the scale if you don't want to put the AA batteries or the 9 volt battery in it. And don't forget the retail packaging. That's important for the dealer who will put these on the shelf in a retail environment. Okay?